Aquarius, welcome back to There's That Tarot. Aquarius, I feel like you guys are kind of floating away from something right now. Or you're trying to float, trying to keep it light with something. It could be um, a heartbreak or something that you're having to separate from. I'm feeling travel. Um, a lot of you could be going overseas or searching for your happiness. Just searching for the light again. What else is going on, Aquarius? But it's something about like the way that something feels here. Many people don't get to see shooting stars. You know? Many people never see it. Many people don't even look up and see what the hell is going on around them. But I feel like all your life, if there's something that you've been wishing for here. And maybe it showed up and it didn't look exactly the way that you wanted it to look. It was a little flawed, but it was flawsome at the same time. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like this thing is flawed, but it's perfectly flawed. Whatever it is, the way it showed up wasn't the way that you expected it to or something like that. Right, Aquarius? But it ended up becoming your favorite jam. But then things became a little, started to feel ugly at some point. And I feel like at this point, you're just looking for that light again. You're looking for the, the glow of whatever it was that, that made you feel happy. Or maybe this is somebody else's energy and how they're feeling about you. What we're going to look at today, Aquarius, is what's going on in the subconscious. What may be affecting your well-being that you're not aware of. What's going on in your conscious mind, which are those reoccurring thoughts and fears that may, that are holding you back. Okay. And we're going to look at the higher conscious, which talks about what we know, but we haven't quite grasped it yet. We're not, we haven't quite accepted it as reality, right? My lashes are doing something. I don't know. It's been bothering me. Anyway, let's look at what's going on in the subconscious of Aquarius. What's going on? Knight of Swords. Maybe there's something that we want to say. Something that we want to communicate. But maybe we don't have the other person's focus. Right now. Somebody could be very focused on themselves. Focused elsewhere. Focused on... You know, putting something in their life back together. Seems like we're losing hope in the situation. It's the Knight of Swords. And it could be a rushing away. Or like maybe there was an argument that led to an ending and a lack of trust between you and someone else. Somebody walked away here. Queen of Pentacles. This is what's still going on in the back of our minds. Somebody made a, a, a decision to focus on their own happiness. Whatever came out, um, somebody went cold. That's what it looks like. Could have been dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, fixed sign. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or Scorpio, or another Aquarius. Somebody went cold once the trust was lost here. The world card. It was like secrets out now. heard I wasted a lot of time not listening to myself something felt like a failure here I mean and it stopped everything here is saying that it, it something came to a complete halt why the five of swords Somebody wanted to see what things look like on the other side. And I feel like it kept you two from moving forward. Somebody's attention was split because they were... Oh, somebody still... 
trying to make something happen with someone from the past. Somebody's emotions were still held up with someone that they already broke up with. Somebody could eat. Some of you could be Aquarius, Capricorn, Cuspers. Is that? Yeah, Capricorn. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Yeah, some of you could be on the cusp of Capricorn, but there was a very unhealthy connection or a relationship with something. So somebody held, it's like somebody did not, I feel like what's going on is I didn't take a chance on something. There was a, there, there was a choice to take a chance on something new and completely let go of the old, but there was something that couldn't be let go of. And deep down in the subconscious, we know what the right thing to do was. But we didn't, somebody maybe did not take accountability or it's like in the back, back of my mind, I know what the right thing to do. I see it clearly, but I know that I'm going to have to really take accountability to come to a decision about that. Two of Swords. So this queen, whoever this is that's sitting in your subconscious, whoever it is that is completely focused on themselves at this point, who saw some deception, who saw that somebody was still holding on to somebody else, that you have not made room for me type of energy. So I'm just going to go. That person knows how much attention the other person was getting. Okay. You know that this person is celebrated for their looks or something. And um, this person made a decision. Well, you know, if I'm not getting celebrated here, if I'm not getting what I need here, then maybe I can give it to myself. Or this person may view the other as very selfish and not really, you know, taking accountability for the feelings that were involved between you two. Or addressing them or, you know, it's like, I can give you my love, but what are you going to do with it kind of thing? So I feel like one person was holding on and one person was very withdrawn here. We got the, somebody felt lonely within the connection. And the other person wasn't quite the lonely type. <laughs> so lovers here. You withdrew from me because you were dealing with somebody else. Somebody was a lover boy. Who's this Aries, though, that shifted somebody's focus? Oh. Four cups. <clears throat> well, it's two people here. It's you and someone else in your subconscious. It's like a relationship that happened. But there's a third energy as well. I took a chance on you already. Maybe a few chances on you already. Damn it. <laughs> but I don't know how many times I can keep looking back at this if you're still looking back at something else. I'm not going to chase you. you know? And I feel like that's what somebody said. I'm, I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not trying to pull teeth here. I, I'm kind of losing my motivation. My intuition is telling me that I'm holding on to something that I need to stop holding on to because I don't really trust. Um, I don't really trust what's happening here. Right? This is the accountability series. <laughs> We're going to be looking at our part of the situation because I feel like that's where true healing begins. It's the continual addressing of the blockages, the things that are holding us back. So we're going to look at what's going on in your conscious mind. What it is that you know. Those reoccurring thoughts and fears. What's bothering you? Who's bothering you? I feel like there's um, a chance at having a new life here. In some way. Something's changing in your life. What's going on in the conscious mind? Aquarius. Aquarius. 
two more shuffles. You gotta believe that it can happen. What's the conscious mind of Aquarius saying? If I have a source in the reverse. Leo's energy here, you and Leo. I want to resolve whatever happened. I know it's going to take a lot of strength for me to do that. I, but I do want to resolve. I, I want to make better what, the, the, the trust that was broken. I want to mend that in some way. Or maybe not get caught up in the ways that led to that feeling. Okay. There's a 10 here. Five of swords in the reverse. Five of wands in the reverse. <sighs> I want to resolve what killed the happiness between us, what killed the passion between us. What, what was that? I would like to do whatever it takes to move forward. I said that earlier in your reading. Whatever killed the motivation here. What's this one called? Freeze again. Somebody wants to go back towards something. Still have really good memories of this person. I did feel a soulmate connection. Maybe I looked up to this person or this person looked up to me and I let them down. Somebody's running out of patience here. <clears throat> There's an offer that I want to make. I'm running out of patience. Okay. I know I had you like this, but now I want you like this. Okay. So what are we going to do? How, how do we move forward here? Wheel of Fortune. This is what's going on in the front of your mind. How do we move forward with the Wheel of Fortune? Well, because right now things feel stuck. Right now, people are guarded because there are no true emotions that are being revealed. The moon card. But I feel burdened by opening up about how I really feel or there's, um, maybe I feel like I just need to get my mind off of it. There's secrets here though. There's a hesitancy, there's fear in communicating something, but there's also, I don't want to let this connection go. So what we gonna do? My intuition either, wow. The hell? There's one part of me. <laughs> Look, this is this is crazy, Aquarius. I've never seen this before. So there's one part of my intuition that's telling me to stop, either to stop, or my in in, in my mind I know why things stopped between us. Here's another one. Deep down, I really still want to play the field. There's some kind of knowing here, either about, I know why things stop, I still want to play the field, or, what was the first one I said? Y'all remember it. Or, <laughs> my intuition is telling me that something needs to come to us to a halt here. But I might be deceiving myself with that thought. The song that's playing right now is called Away We Go. I might be deceiving myself with that thought because on the other side, if I'm really honest with myself, look at how this is coming out. I was deceiving myself with the thought of things needing to end, but if I'm really honest with myself, I'm waiting. There's a sense of waiting on uh, stronger commitment with either this person or like it's like part of me is like oh, I still kind of want to play around but there's another part of me here if I'm honest with myself I do want something more stable I mean who the hell want to grow old alone I 
but I'm not ready for that. I don't feel like I'm where I need to be as a partner. I don't know if I'm the most stable partner to be with right now. The thought of it really burdens me. I've tried to make peace with some other things and I'm guarded against like making a new offer here. I'm really guarded against commitment and be guarded against commitment until you can, until you feel like you are ready for that. It's almost like I'd rather end it. I don't want to, something about not wanting to choose here. No, you don't have to. But at the same time, I do feel like this person, it's like, I feel like this person is, would be a good partner. But there's just hesitancy. This could be them or you. I'm not sure. Something I need to see clearer before I'm ready to build something like that. I'm going to have to let go of my hoes to be with you. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Ooh, this lash. <laughs> I'm going to look at this other... Um, this other card before I get too caught up on this story. Like I, I see a glimpse into my future when I look at this person. If somebody wasn't, somebody just wasn't ready, and somebody's still holding on to something else from the past. It could be you or them. This is what's going. On. This is this is the reoccurring thoughts and fears. Like uh, if I if I do this, then what am I going to miss out over there? There's a big fear of missing out here. Why is the strength card here? This love and commitment and stability thing. It ain't for the faint at heart. I know that it's going to take a lot of strength for me to um, let go of my past. In order to move forward with something that may be better for me. A past commitment I wasn't able to make work. It's time for me to um, see how that's been holding me back from new love. And new opportunities here. Maybe this is something that I need to abandon because it's holding me back. Draining on my strength. Because I keep putting work into a connection. Or something here. It's like every time I put work. Every time we get to a certain point in the relationship. I get cold feet and I back out. Or something like that. There's a lot of indecision here. I know that that part of me is what's going to have to change. In some way. Am I willing to do that? Am I ready to do that? I'm not a I'm not going to do it before I'm ready, right? But then, again, how long does it take to get ready for something like Is it even what I want? There's a devil card in the reverse. There's some self-depreciating thought patterns I may have to get rid of. There's some possible addictions, heartbreak. That I'm going to have to overcome here. But I, I'm going to have to shift my focus if I'm going to take action on this. I'm going to have to learn some patience here. What is pulling you in two different directions? Whatever it is, is keeping you stuck. Which one is better for you? If you're really honest with yourself, which one is better for you? The one where you keep getting stabbed and, you know, these, these, the cheap thrills, the momentary microwave instant gratification type things. You don't have to be in a relationship to have a wholesome life. Continuing to wait on something. 
or waiting to feel like the right partner or waiting to feel it's something about I'm waiting to feel more stable or something like that. Sometimes it's just as simple as shifting your um, your focus away from ooh, away from whatever it is that you feel like is not closed in your life, uh, Aquarius. I keep wanting to call you Sag. There's something here that you're feeling like it's not closed, or it's not closed. Oh my God, what is this, honey? I need one of y'all to blow in my eye. <laughs> Stuck. World card twice in the reverse. A lack of closure on something that's keeping us stuck from starting over. It's keeping us back there. I don't know if back there is where you want to be. It's keeping us feeling like we don't have enough for this other person that we do deem as a good partner. This person showed up again. This is the new thing here. What's the star card? The new person. Or, well, this. Ah, God, here we go, Aquarius. Let me put my glasses back on so I can see. So this person has popped up. This Queen of Pentacles has popped up again. This some this is somebody who one of y'all deems each other or whoever as a stable option, a stable partner, or the option. You know what I mean? And then we got the Page of Wands again. This is this new start here, but this this queen's energy has come up like I see this thing for exactly what it is now. I see what caused the disconnection between me and you, and this person is letting go is what it looks like. Could have been like turning down an offer, could have been an ending, could have been very shocking. Okay. Wait a minute. But there was something here that caused the, 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 the break in trust. I'm no longer waiting for something to grow that I can't trust. I'm no longer waiting for you to open up to me if you just don't want to. Somebody's holding back at this point. Empress. Guarding themselves. Star card. But I'm seeing here that there was a lack of um, taking control of the situation. I feel like somebody was waiting for the other person to stick up for them or to make some kind of decision here. Tell me something, honey. Check my pulse. And somebody failed to do that. And the other person was like, all right. Check out set 11. <laughs> I don't know where the hell that came from, Aquarius. I feel like somebody put their foot down though. How long can I continue to be on the uh, at the back of your mind or at the bottom of your list or something like that? Let's see what's going on in the higher conscience. If this thing don't stop bothering me, holy ghost. Okay. Here we go. We're going to look at what's going on in the higher conscience. Damn, am I already at 23 minutes? I hope y'all still watching. <laughs> All right. Last part of the reading. What's going on in the higher conscience? What do we know that we haven't quite accepted the reality of it yet? There's a change that needs to happen. It's a lifestyle change. Yeah, letting go. Being honest with ourselves. What is your heart telling you about this love connection? What is your heart telling you? Is this the last day in paradise? Or is there a sacrifice here? Three of swords. Letting go of what continues to take me in circles. Resolving those things. Being honest, my, being honest with myself about why I wasn't able to make something work. 
um, why I lost this connection with this person. Look at that, honey. Why did things go wrong? Magician in the reverse. Somebody gave up or somebody wouldn't open up. Yeah, somebody gave up without trying to make it work here. I couldn't decide between you and be it choice of drugs. Choice of, um, you know, we all have something a little not healthy that we like to indulge in, okay? Somebody couldn't make a choice between that and being with possibly being with this person. Okay. Nice of swords. Ooh. I know why this ended. I know why the passion was lost. I know if I'm if I'm really honest with myself, something came out about unrequited love here. Okay. Temperance. So am I gonna choose to get back on the right path and stop wasting my time partying? Is it time? I don't know. Honey, I say if you in your twenties, early thirties, enjoy yourself, honey. Learn all your lessons. Don't rush. Don't rush. But if you get on up there, play off. <laughs> and if you want it. Only if you want it. You know what I mean? Don't waste nobody's time or yours if you don't. If you don't trust you, who are you going to trust? Sometimes we get mad at other people for not trusting us. But do you trust you to make the best decisions for your own life? Or do we continue to go back to the things that lead us to regret? Regretting that we didn't choose a happier path here. The things that we know deep down keep us in the dark. Keep us from the sun. The sun was in your meditation. So now the sun is here again in the reverse. Whatever it is. We know that the indecision, indecision is a decision not to make a decision and it leads to nothing. If the light is green and we don't go, then the light going to turn red again. Do you have the green light in this situation, Aquarius? Or are we still looking backwards? Is it time to build something new? Or are we going to continue to hold on to whatever this is? Addictions, self-depreciating thoughts, you name it. Whatever it is, that is not healthy for you. This is the accountability series, honey. We all here. We all here. Aries through Pisces. So, y'all let me know how you like this style of reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm going to pull a few more messages for you before we close out of this therapy session. Clean up. All right. Any other messages for Aquarius? It's like we're, we're finding home right now. Where is home? I can't keep, you know, it's like if you keep doing the same thing, you'll keep getting the same results. We keep getting the same thing, you know. I think um, one of the, the pathways or a relationship that may have, I don't know. I don't know if this person meant you any good. It's like how many things were positive and healthy and like working in your life and your, your home life. The parts of, the li of your life that matter. Okay, how many of those things. Damn it, what was I about to say? You know how you're with a person and um, maybe it gets on your nerves that this person wakes up early and they want to go exercise and they want you to take vitamins and shit. But ain't that love? Kind of boring. Okay. Whatever. It's not a hangover. It's not um, going out with friends and they didn't have your back last night and you lost your wallet. It's not, you know what I mean? Those little things we kind of get caught up in and we think it's fun. But it really doesn't add. 
You know what I mean? It doesn't mean don't have fun. Please have fun. You got one life to live. But it's like, what's the bigger picture here? As I pull out for the streets. Somebody you may have been dealing with. Or maybe, hey, you know, we all have our period of being for the streets. But at what point do we begin to get grounded? Because we all going to get old, God willing. Okay. Somebody may have asked you to be different. Or oh, that may be the challenge. Is, ha is, is having to change something. I really didn't want to change. I just wanted to get the result. <laughs> I just want to be light and involved. And, you know, lightly involved, date around or something like that. I don't want nobody to ask me to be different in order to make them feel more comfortable or whatever. But there is something that needs to be let go of here. With the Scorpio energy... There's a time to participate in life and there's a time to observe things. I feel like this is one of those participation moments. The pain of letting go of something that's not holding on to you is much less than the pain of trying to make something work that will never work. There it is, floating. So in the art of love, somebody who's materialistic. You can't buy me, darling. I don't know who that was. I don't know what that was about. But um, the art of love is that you're weightless, floating. So that when you lose that love, you can weightlessly re-enter the atmosphere. I'm really not sure who this reading was about. There's definitely somebody who um, wasn't able to make a choice about something here. And it's easier. It's just easier to let it go than it is to hold on to it if it's not if it's not working. I'm not. I can't ask you to be different. I can't ask you to be anything. But when you're ready, <laughs> I might be here. I don't know, Aquarius. Y'all tell me in the comments uh, how this resonates for you. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated for you. And if you would like a personal reading, the information for that is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.